Just one thing first. Joe Biden called it a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Andrew Neil, formerly of this parish, spoke of punishing the unvaccinated. Jeremy Vine spoke figuratively of holding people down and forcibly jabbing them. Oddly, the smiling fascist Justin Trudeau of Canada called the unvaccinated racist. Quite a leap, that one, and a bit rich from a man famous for blackface. But as a spokesperson from Pfizer admitted in the Dutch parliament this week, the vaccine was never tested for transmission. In other words, stopping you giving COVID to others. So what the authorities told us about stopping the spread with a jab was a total lie. Take it to protect granny, a historic falsehood. Whilst safe for most, though we can't be sure, we don't have long term data, large numbers of people around the world have suffered severe side effects and some, including former BBC presenter Lisa Shaw, have died. Uh, Lisa, a healthy woman in her 40s, here pictured with her husband, Gareth. She statistically did not need the jab, but based upon the idea that somehow she was helping others, she took one for the team. She's gone now. Her husband, a widower, her young son without his mummy. The conspiracy theorists, the tin hat brigade, the so-called anti-vaxxers, who were no such thing but simply wanted personal choice, were right all along. For the record, I'm triple jabbed. But did I need it? You tell me. We will never forget the politicians, the corporations and the high profile celebrities and TV doctors who needlessly coerced us into having the vaccine. They've got blood on their hands. Never forgive, never forget and never again.